Hello all and welcome to Code Rush with Gaurav. In today's video, we're going to talk about some AI trends and the news and the latest things that are happening around AI, specifically about the Chat GPT Go plan that is launched exclusively to begin with India. Uh, how Open AI has expressed the thought about opening an office in India in New Delhi, and they have started putting up some job openings as well. So, if you are an AI enthusiast from India, this is the most exciting time ever. Let's begin. Let us jump right into the official Open AI article about the Chat GPT Go plan. The document states that the plan is initially for India only, and Open AI may extend the plan to other countries later. Chat GPT Go is a new low-cost subscription plan that provides expanded access to Chat GPT's most popular features at an affordable price. In the free plan, access to Chat GPT's GPT-5 model is very limited. With Pro plan, that limit is extended. Now, for more of your queries, it will pick the GPT-5 model. Similarly, for image generation, the limits are extended, and it will be faster in the Go plan. The context window token size limit in the Pro plan is extended as well. An important point to note will be that this plan is not related to API usage in any way. API usage is built separately, so it benefits the end users that access models via the Chat GPT UI. The Go plan has its pricing at three hundred and ninety nine Indian rupees per month, which is around four point five US dollars. For subscribing to the Go plan, one can just click on the profile and say upgrade plan. The existing billing and invoicing mechanism continues as is. Supporting multi-currency billing. Let us look at some documented FAQs from OpenAI. For the Chat GPT Go plan, we don't have an annual billing. The access will be expanded to other regions and countries later. This could be completely based on the success of the pilot program and from which regions OpenAI gets most of the users and traffic. A clarification is provided. That says the Plus plan benefits like access to Sora, the video generation tool doesn't apply to the Go plan. The thinking and reasoning mode is auto included in the Go plan, and if it doesn't trigger automatically, we can force that option by saying think longer. This option is of great benefit for research work, students, and analysts. Let us also talk about some confusions this new plan can bring in. If you are already a Plus or Pro plan subscriber, should you switch to Go plan? And can you even? Yes, you can switch, but first you should analyze your use and see if the Go plan will fulfill your needs. Again, for countries other than India, the Go plan won't be available and seen in the options. And here is the most interesting information for you: if you are a Pro or Plus plan subscriber. And if you switch to Go Plan from India for a cost benefit, in the current cycle you won't get any refund. The access to ad connectors and third-party apps won't be included in the Go Plan, and like we saw earlier, the access to Sora is not included as well. This was just the official page of OpenAI telling us the details of the new plan and some FAQs around it. Now let's try the upgrade screen and see the visual comparison of the plans. And then we will talk about should we switch for who does the new Chat GPT Go plan make sense and why. Now, when I go to the home page of Chat GPT, I see a prompt and hint to upgrade to Go plan as my location is India. We can click on the profile icon and click on upgrade plan to see the available options. Let's try that again. Ah, I had a business filter applied. Let's switch to personal. And here we see the details of all the plans and a visual comparison. This page gives us the details of all the plans, including the new Go plan and the cost per month. As we can clearly see here, that the free plan says a lot about limited access for uploads and image generation. The Go plan includes longer memory context, and it includes custom GPTs and projects and tasks as well. Which is not included in the free plan. 
the plus plan includes default gpt5 model and much higher limits in comparison to the go plan and it includes access to sora the video generation model and codex agent as well the pro plan at the same time promises unlimited access for most of the features we just talked about so now that we know about the plan in details let's see does it even make sense to go for the go plan and if yes why now let's talk india here's why this matters pricing sensitivity in india affordability is everything the plus plan costs anywhere from 1600 rupees to 2000 rupees a month depending on conversion and that's steep for students and freelancers go cuts down that barrier by being much cheaper we're talking potentially around the 300 rupees to 400 rupees range one fourth of the cost students and competitive exams imagine students prepping for upsc cat or iitg a more affordable ai tool means they can practice faster generate study notes and brainstorm essay answers without breaking the bank small businesses and freelancers from digital marketers to graphic designers an affordable chat gpt helps freelancers draft proposals generate content or explore ideas without investing in the full pro ecosystem regional language access has the kicker go users still get access to gpt4's multilingual capabilities so whether it's hindi tamil bengali or marathi people can interact naturally that's huge for india where english is in the first language for the majority this move by open ai is actually strategic India is one of the fastest growing AI user bases in the world. By launching ChatGPT Go, they aren't just targeting the US or Europe. They're making AI accessible for millions of Indian students, freelancers, and creators. Imagine 10x more Indian students using AI to study, SMEs using it to write proposals, YouTubers like us using it to script and edit videos faster. The ripple effect India's AI empowered generation grows even bigger. In a parallel development, Open AI has announced a new office in New Delhi in India. According to me, this is more of a strategic move where Open AI can attract more business from India, being local and closer to the customers. Sam Altman, CEO of Open AI, in a statement said that Opening our first office and building a local team is an important first step in our commitment to make advanced AI more accessible across the country and to build AI for India and with India. Hiring for the India office has already begun. Along with this new office announcement, the company has posted 3 positions on its careers page. Account director, digital natives, account director large enterprise and account director strategics india is chat gpt's second largest market and ceo sam altman plans to visit the country in september perplexity has already provided a free 1 year pro subscription to airtel users in india so if you are a tech and ai enthusiast in the country this is a great time to make use of these options and make the most out of it hit like and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel don't forget to share this news and updates with your friends who could benefit from it keep vibing keep learning i will see you in the next video till then have a good one